A replay attack is a form of network attack in which a valid data transmission is maliciously or fraudulently repeated or delayed. This is carried out either by the originator or by an adversary who intercepts the data and retransmits it, possibly as part of a masquerade attack by IP packet substitution. Example, suppose Alice wants to prove her identity to Bob. Bob requests her password as proof of identity, which Alice dutifully provides. Meanwhile, Eve is eavesdropping on the conversation and keeps the password. After the interchange is over, Eve connects to Bob. When asked for a proof of identity, Eve sends Alice's password read from the last session, which Bob accepts thus granting access to Eve. Countermeasures A way to avoid replay attacks is by using session tokens. Bob sends a one-time token to Alice, which Alice uses to transform the password and send the result to Bob. On his side Bob performs the same computation. If and only if both values match, the login is successful. Now suppose Eve has captured this value and tries to use it on another session. Bob sends a different session token, and when Eve replies with the captured value it will be different from Bob's computation. Session tokens should be chosen by a random process. Otherwise Eve may be able to pose as Bob, presenting some predicted future token, and convince Alice to use that token in her transformation. Eve can then replay her reply at a later time, and Bob will accept the authentication. One-time passwords are similar to session tokens in that the password expires after it has been used or after a very short amount of time. They can be used to authenticate individual transactions in addition to sessions. The technique has been widely implemented in personal online banking systems. Bob can also send nonces but should then include a message authentication code, which Alice should check. Time stamping is another way of preventing a replay attack. Synchronization should be achieved using a secure protocol. For example Bob periodically broadcasts the time on his clock together with a Mac. When Alice wants to send Bob a message, she includes her best estimate of the time on his clock in her message, which is also authenticated. Bob only accepts messages for which the timestamp is within a reasonable tolerance. The advantage of this scheme is that Bob does not need to generate random numbers, with the trade-off being that replay attacks, if they are performed quickly enough that is within that reasonable limit, could succeed. See also, active wiretapping, digest access authentication, denial of service, man-in-the-middle attack, passive wiretapping, preplay attack.